Well, like... Glasgow City Council aims to boost diversity in schools as only 3% of the workforce are BAME. And of course, that indicates systemic inequality and structural barriers, and God forbid that, evil racism. And we have a proverbial anti-racist on the screen, and of course, do not be fooled, she is the proverbial anti-racist expert, academic, whatever you will. Scrolling a little bit through her Twitter, it didn't take me long to realise that that was exactly the case as her first tweet, or her last tweet even, sorry, um, was, if this would stop pissing about, you know, so sad that racism still exists, predicating her entire identity on fighting the good fight and tackling racism, etc., achieving equality, which really boils down to equity, as per usual. Scrolling through her her Twitter here, COVID in colour, retweeting this, Intercultural Youth Scotland have compiled a report on the overall well-being of young black and people of colour Scots, oxymoron, you know, because with an ethnic group. During COVID-19, COVID in colour offers insight into young people's experiences, resources and much more. Riveting stuff, Intercultural Youth Scotland, of course. An organisation, a charity, whatever you will, that I made a video on, well, two videos on in fact, where it's just anecdotal shit, but it's still considered to be groundbreaking analysis when they come away with their crap. We keep scrolling, of course, and we come to a couple of new Scots here, yeah, new Scots, uh huh, if that's what they are, yeah. You know, we keep coming down, and we get this one here. Oh, yes. Carl from Sir Scotland leading EDIS Glasgow training on systemic and cultural change in leadership with race equality. And she retweets it, and I just get a big waft of anti racist rhetoric coming from this one, of course you do. So, anyway. Labinder Shekhun praised education bosses for recent work to try increase the number of staff from ethnic minorities in schools and nurseries. But she cautioned that more work must be done to ensure that BAME candidates are given equal chances at work and for promotion. Now, anybody irrespective of their protected characteristics, their race, their ethnicity and whatnot, has the ability to apply for a job and has just as much of an opportunity as anybody else to put themselves forward in the interview process or whatever it be, and it's a luck of the draw type of thing, or it's supposed to be the best person for the job. Now, how do we ensure that BAME candidates are given equal chances at work and for promotion? We have to ensure that and for promotion, but well, we have to put things in place for that. Because without the things put in place, the implication is that they will never get up the career ladder because they're BAME. You know, those dastardly white men, they get all the jobs despite the fact the country's made up majority white, you know. But we don't want to talk about that. We don't want to talk about that at all because it does not fit the worldview. These people operate in a manner where they want things specifically in place, whether that be diversity hiring, diversity quotas, or uh, short lists for the BAMES, etc. And the reason that they give for this is because without it, then the inequality is rife. No, the minute you start to implement policies such as this, it immediately becomes an unequal playing field, which is funny coming from people that claim to be striving for equality, but then the penny drops. It's not about equality, it's not about equality of opportunity, it's about equity, it's about equality, quote unquote, of outcome. For example, I was reading a little bit of the Glasgow's uh, Council's uh, Equality Outcomes 2017 to 2021, and we get Improve Economic Outcomes for People with Protected Characteristics. Now, every single group you can think of is on that list by white men. Of course, Scottish men. Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 no. They, because they're the oppressors, you see. All these marginalised groups that have been shoved and moulded into one by this progressive, cancerous society that we live in. So they need preferential treatment because without said preferential treatment, oh no, they're hard done by. So equality outcome, number one, increased proportion of people with protected characteristics are supported to enter employment or training. So right off the bat, we need to prioritize them. We need to focus on them. There might be 50 white men applying for that job, but they don't have a protected characteristic unless they're gay. So no, you, you're back, back of the queue. Glasgow City Council female employees are supported to overcome any challenges that gender may, operative word, present. May, of course, because it's all anecdotal, but the feminists will tell you otherwise that women are so hard done by. Glasgow City Council employees who experience mental health issues are supported to help them manage any difficulties they experience or barriers they face. The council family has improved knowledge about the demographic makeup of the workforce. 
Then we have increased people's knowledge about equality and fairness. Oh, this will be good riveting stuff because, I mean, define equality. Equality to these people is if 25% of Scotland, for example, was BAME, then 25% of every single organisation, workforce and whatnot, at Tesco's or schools, etc., should be BAME. And if it's not 25 on the dot, at least 25 on the dot, it's inequality. The same way they operate in the Scottish Rainbow Unicorn Parliament where they talk about at least 50-50 whammon representation. You know, they're not happy with it just being 50-50 on the back, on the dot, not at least 50-50. But because it's not 50-50 yet, that's inequality. Why is it inequality? Because on paper, it's not 50-50. <laughs> this is what they're about, really. Anyway, so it says, um, the council family has developed and delivered a consistent and more necessary mandatory approach to raising awareness about equality and diversity. A mandatory approach to raising awareness about equality and diversity. What does that boil down to? Well, it must be your proverbial anti-racist, you know, uh, training and diversity training, etc. Because people need to be made aware of what the anti-racists, <laughs> the racists, want. Glasgow City Council has developed a more strategic approach to delivering equality and diversity curriculum in schools that has been developed in partnership with the third sector and achieves external validation where possible. Uh-huh. Oh, I'd love to live in Glasgow, so I would. Improve access to council family services by people with protected characteristics. It's always for the people with protected characteristics, you see, because this is how we achieve equality. We pander, we bootlick, we grovel, we give everything, we give them preferential treatment, we shove them to the top of their prospective, uh, respective career ladders because they've got protected characteristics. Now, before these protected characteristics ever existed, I suppose we lived in a play level playing field, but not anymore. Uh, so it says here that Glasgow's improvement challenge, literacy and numeracy, has resulted in children with learning disabilities have improved attainment. Pupils from whom Eng English is not first language have improved attainment. Any difference between attainment of males and female pupils is reduced. Service users with protected characteristics are provided with target, targeted improved and more accessible information about the services provided by the council family. Barriers in, part in participation in arts, learning, physical activities, learning and culture have been reduced for people with people with for people with people with protected characteristics. People with protected characteristics are more regularly and systematically involved in service delivery design. The council family has promoted visibly and delivered events that promote and celebrate cultural diversity in Glasgow. Of course, where it says here, promote and support respect for quality and diversity. The council recognises an employer that supports its employees and protect the characteristics, survivors or those at risk of gender-based violence. Now, what is gender-based violence? I've made videos on this in the past as well. Gender-based violence is not what you might think it is. Oh, no, 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 it's not a man hitting a woman. Oh, no, 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 it's misogyny and things such as that, you know, microaggressions, that type of thing. Because we're living in the feminist era now, here in Rainbow Unicorn Land. And when we have LGBT emphasis in the T, Disabled, religious, faith, and black and minority ethnic people have increased confidence to report hate crime because they can, they're all the eternal victims. White men, no, uh, there's no mention of that because only white men can be responsible for a hate crime, you see. Let me come down here and I'm not going to read all this BS, but you know, you get the, the point where it talks about percentages. Of course it does because it has to be equal on paper. But then we come down to here and it says. One of their outcomes will be increased proportion of people with protected characteristics are supported to enter employment or training. How will we do this? We come to race, because we're talking about race yet again. The Glasgow Guarantee Initiative will continue to assist people into employment, including an increased number of black or minority ethnic people. Protected characteristic, race, measures, number of positive outcomes. Not opportunity, not quality of opportunity, outcomes. Equity. Yeah. Uh-huh. So anyway. The, the, the Denard Primary School Acting Deputy Head was speaking ahead of a report to the Council's Education Committee this week detailing work being done in the city to improve diversity. While nearly 25% of children and young people in Glasgow schools are from BAME, Black, Asian and Minority Ethnic backgrounds, only 3% of council staff come from those same backgrounds. Bosses wanted to actively work to increase uh, to improve, sorry, those figures and give children role models to help encourage them in the careers in education. Now every single time I end up making a video where this sort of gibberish is mentioned, I have to continuously touch upon the fact that we're consistently told that we are all one. Supposedly this colorblind society, for better or for worse. But why is it then, in the next breath, if there's a lack of black and brown and Asian teachers or counsellors, etc., that somehow becomes a problem because all of a sudden the mention of role models becomes a prevalent talking point in any discussion on said matter. 
If we are all one, there should be no issue with there being a lack of people who look like them in teaching or council positions. Because if we're all one, it shouldn't matter. But they need role models. Now that's just a namby-pamby way of trying to tell you that they are allowed to recognise their own and strive to be like their own. And because there's a lack of their own, that is the excuse and the justification for why there is a lack of their own. <laughs> you know? Imagine the roles are reversed. And there was somebody here demanding that there was more ethnically Scottish people put into teaching positions and there was more ethnically Scottish people put into counselling positions. Oh, but your answer will be, but there's plenty of them now. Yeah, there is. And that doesn't inspire Scottish people to want to become a teacher or a counsellor. No, 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 it doesn't. Because, rightly or wrongly, for some strange reason, we don't seem to have that in-group preference anymore that these BAMES seem to have in abundance. <laughs> now. You see Scottish people, and probably other European people, English, etc, in teaching positions, and because they are not like you skin tone wise and whatnot, that's a fucking problem. But instead of just coming out and saying that, no, you have to sugarcoat it with the namby-pamby routine of the lack of diversity and the strife for equality. It really pisses me off. I am so sick of this bullshit where they're in this constant drive for equality, quote unquote, when realistically all they're doing is trying to force their own people to benefit their own people into positions of quote unquote power. This fucking obsession with power. That's what it's about. Anyway. As part of this work, Labinder was seconded from her role in EAL, English for Speakers of Other Languages, to help develop ways to increase the numbers of BAME staff, and that's all these people ever do. They constantly do this. It doesn't matter which uh, position they end up in job title wise, this is all they talk about. They're activists masquerading as something completely different. She's not just your proverbial deputy head at a school, she's an activist. A fucking activist that spends her whole career, her whole lifespan, campaigning to get more people like her into positions like her own. That's not equality. That is giving preferential treatment. That's campaigning on your own group interest. And my heart goes off to you because you're allowed to do that. But why am I not allowed to do that? Why are other people like me not allowed to do that? Why are Scottish people not allowed to do that? The fucking laugh at this crap, man. It just gets in my nerve. She's not Scottish for a kickoff, but she's allowed to campaign to benefit other non-Scots. Well, why can't a Scot campaign or become an activist to benefit Scots exclusively? They try that, they're far right. Beam star, fuck off. Labinder, who uses B-A-E, no, B-M-E, sorry, rather than B-A-M-E. Oh, she's really pushing the boat out there. She's taking the and out. Oh, wow. Oh no, she's taking the Asian out, sorry. Black minority ethnic, rather than B-E-M-E. -E. Say so teachers isn't seen as a career, a great career choice in the B-M-E community. There tends to be a focus on becoming doctors, dentists, lawyers. So much of the work we are doing was around challenging that. I mean, oh God. Oh, wow. We work with Skills Development Scotland. They have job profiles showing the journeys of workers in the education sector and how they got where they are. And we wanted to develop these for education using BME people to make them more visible. So we have role models. Let's talk of role models again. Those, these, sorry, were meant to go across Scotland, but I haven't seen any in my school yet. When you look at the council statistics, if a number of teachers is under 10, then the num that number isn't listed as the people who are easily identifiable. There are around 160 schools in Glasgow, and no teachers listed as being from a BME background. Not because there are none, but because there are so small in number. Glasgow's education sector has around 11,000 staff, and the report says a targeted approach to improving diversity in education would improve diversity across the wider council workforce too. The report by Education Chief Maureen McKenna reads, We want our children and young people to see more employers from BAME backgrounds in our schools and nurseries acting as role models so that this may lead to them considering or choosing a career option of working in an education setting. Well, are the white teachers currently in these professions not providing the service of becoming, or are they not in a position to become a role model to these children? No. 
No, because you will hear this, and I've mentioned it before when they talk about more Bain candidates for, you know, Hollywood and the, and the uh, politicians and whatnot. They want to represent everybody. Well, are the white teachers currently not in these positions? Are the white nursery teachers and carers and whatnot in these positions currently not representing everyone? No, they're clearly not, because you're constantly complaining about the need to brown these organizations, these groups, etc. <laughs> But then you'll say that the Browns that you wish to force into these positions will represent everyone. Well, I ask the question again, how are the white teachers currently in these positions not representing everyone? It's because they're white. <laughs> Investigations found that ethnicity was not routinely recorded during recruitment. In 2017, some 59% of the council workforce had ethnicity not declared in their employee records. The latest figures show that 63% of teachers and 77% of support staff now have recorded ethnicity. And let's talk about recorded ethnicity. You know, I've heard it so many times, it goes back to the gender pay gap and, you know, this, that crap that was debunked, but then they brought out the ethnicity pay gap. And what it really comes down to is that businesses have to prove that they are reducing the pay gap and the only way to reduce said pay gap is to prioritise women in the hiring practice, prioritise them when it comes to promotions, and the same when it comes to ethnicity. You have to prioritise them for promotions, etc., in order to allow these people to end up in positions where they earn more, thus making the pay gap, quote-unquote, reduce when you tally everybody's wages up against white men. And this is the same shit here. So, you know, they're not doing enough. They're not providing their ethnicity on record. The Rainbow Unicorn Government funding was given uh, to CEMVO, Centre for Ethnic Minority Volunteering. Again, I've made videos in the past, I've, I've about two or three now, of all the shit that the Scottish Government piss money away on on a regular basis. If it's not their climate justice fund where they're redistributing Scotland's wealth to third world countries under the guise of we're in the wrong for climate change, you know, non-existent man-made climate change, you know. I, if they're not doing that, they're pumping millions annually into social justice related projects. While child poverty gets worse in this country, while standards of living in this country get worse, while poverty itself gets worse, while food banks are on the rise, etc. Homelessness, a rife problem. The Scottish government are pissing money away into shit like this, and then they have the audacity to come out the other side of it and say, oh, vote for me and you'll get your independence. Oh, Westminster to blame. Another example. Why are they pumping money into this shit? Why? And of course, that is during the early years expansion to help local authorities and coverage applicants from BAME community for child development officer support or support for learning worker posts. So they're pumping money into organisations to, to try and promote more BAME people to apply for fucking jobs. During 2018-19, Glasgow worked with... Uh, same vote to advertise specifically to 53 people, which resulted in 24 applications and 12 successful appointments to support for learning work support. Specifically to 53 people. Now let me guess, they were all BAME, yeah? <laughs> Equality! At the same time, Labour councillor Surya Sadiq helped the council work with Al Mizan, an Islamic women's centre to create support for BAME women who have family commitments. What about white commitments? What about ethnically Scottish? No, they don't get a mention because they're the oppressors. A number of 20 hour posts were created from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. to help women with caring responsibilities in the work. You mean, you know, uh, Islamic women's center? Mm, not just any old woman then, is it? More than 70 women attended a briefing session hosted by Al Mizan, with HR workers attending a second session to give advice on career options and qualifications. All applications were given a guaranteed interview and meeting the minimum job requirements and were given interview advice. In August, of 51 applicants, 40 started work and a further 7 were waiting for a suitable post or completing recruitment checks. So Ria said, I was pleased that my suggestion and support to involve all Mizan worked out so well and it points to the fact that we will get great results when the council embraces real partnership working with local BAME organisations. Of course, because when money's set aside and you people are prioritised, you're going to see the benefits, you're going to reap the rewards, thus rendering the meritocracy we all love to speak about null and void. Research data has shown women from diverse backgrounds can sometimes be furthest away from the decision making and experience barriers in the quality of opportunity. Thus, we need a quality of outcome to render that equality or inequality of opportunity null and void. You know? What research? Fucking bullshit. Glasgow City Centre must ensure its workforce at all levels represents the diversity of the city it serves. And there is the penny dropping yet again because this is such a commonplace talking point. It must be reflective of the diverse society. So as society becomes more and more diverse, 
the more and more you're going to hear calls for there to be more and more police chiefs, teachers, counsellors, chefs, etc. It doesn't matter which job we're talking about. It has to represent society. You know, if Scotland is 25% in the future, BAME, then the government must be 25% BAME. The fire service must be 25% BAME. The police must be 25% BAME. NHS Scotland must be 25% BAME. People in Tesco's must be 25% BAME. Every nursery must have 25% BAME because without that being equal on paper, that doesn't reflect the diverse society. So as Scots dwindle and dwindle more into minority status with their record low birth rates while simultaneously the Scottish population increases annually year on year thanks to immigration as we dwindle more and more into obscurity and non-relevance the more we will be replaced not just as a population but by every single organisation or any or every organisation going every sector going and it's all about representation you see <laughs> oh wow the Scottish government has also funded 30 places across the country on the early learning and childcare degree courses with 5 places available in Glasgow advertising for graduate trainee posts did not attract any applicants from BAME background and so the council took a more focused approach to recruitment of course because they didn't get who they wanted to apply so they had to do more yeah, you know the quality a direct innovation was issued to the heads of nurseries and early years employers who had declared their ethnicity as BAME to express an interest in applying for the degree course because you have to be BAME to apply for the degree course. There were 45 employers from a BAME background who said they did not have the degree or were interested in gaining further qualifications. There are five have been accepted for one year of the course and 13 have been accepted to on the degree course at year two. Good for them. They wouldn't have got the job if they weren't BAME. Really? Really? I bet that's what it boils down to. Am I, am I, am I right? Like, <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me, yeah. As part of Labinda's work, a further two recruitment sessions were set up through the uh, Gwardwaras and around 100 people of Sikh, Hindu, Chinese, Muslim and Polish backgrounds took part. Oh, well, at least the Polish get a bit of input. What about the Scots, though? Nah, of course. This work has stopped when the coronavirus so-called crisis hit the council, but said it's now went away again. A focus group of BAME teachers was also set up with feedback showing staff and senior managers should be trained in issues such as bias and discrimination. Oh wow, a focus group of BAME teachers was also set up with feedback showing that staff and senior management should be trained in issues such as bias and discrimination. So what do we mean by discrimination? Why are your microaggressions and what do we mean by bias? Unconscious bias that all white men have. Labinder said a vital area to tackle is the problem of the promotion of BAME staff and education to head teacher. A vital area to tackle is the problem of promotion. I mean, this is just ridiculous. It said at the very beginning of this article, you know, if I scroll back up, where there was mention of there being, what, uh, under 10 people, uh, in under 10 BAME teachers, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, in schools. So therefore, they're not recognised in the overall count when it comes to ethnicity recording and whatnot. There needs to be at least 10 sort of thing. You know, it stands to reason that the minority in the school, there are minorities in the school even, in, t in terms of uh, the whole of the workforce, all of the teachers, all the head teachers, all of the, the staff within said school. They're minorities just as they are in real life, but because not enough of them are being promoted, you know, because not enough of them are being promoted to head teaching uh, posts, that is a problem. It's a problem, that's a fucking meritocracy, you know, because there could be, what, 40, 50 teachers? 60 teachers in any one high school and whatnot, for example, maybe five or six of them are black. Now, I mean, you, you just can't shove these people into uh, head teaching positions because they're black. The assumption is that the white teachers have been shoved into these positions because they're white. No, it's because there's more of them. <sighs> While there was work being done for jobs such as support for learning assistance, she said work should be done with universities to help BAME candidates on the higher education courses and further their careers. Well, if they can't get there on their own, then fuck them. She said, what we need now is to get something really fair in place as this issue tends to come on the agenda every few years, but then it goes away again and improvements are not made. It shouldn't take 15 years to move up the ranks and if we want to stay that teaching is a great career for the BME community, then there needs to be a great, a clear route of progression. Yeah, there needs to be things put in place to ensure that they can get to where they wish to be. Whereas everybody else that applies for the job and stands, stands on that career ladder and attempts to climb it, they don't know whether or not they're going to reach the top. It's all about trying and perseverance. But if you're a poor little oppressed BAME, nah, you need to have things put in place. There needs to be a clear route of progression because you're BAME. This is really important work and I do worry it's going to be forgotten about. 
adding I was seconded last year to a diversity officer role, and during that time I was based in the council's headquarters. One of the schools was looking for an acti acting deputy head, and I ended up getting the opportunity to take that role, because I happened to be in the right place at the right time. Oh, much of my shock! Because that tends to be how it fucking happens, eh? I don't think I'm a success story yet, because I've been teaching for 15 years before I have been noticed, basically. Oh, like every other teacher out there! <laughs> oh, but because you're being, it's different, of course. If I apply for a permanent position and I'm not given up, that would really be that would really be a success story. It's then, because we really sorry. If I apply for a permanent position and I'm given that, that would really be a success. Then, because we really need to look at how we actually promote BME teachers. I've been teaching for 15 years, but ended up in EAL because I wasn't getting a job in mainstream. I am the only. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. I am the only non Scott. Deputy head teacher at the moment, and you do need to work harder to get noticed. Oh, of course you do, because how many Scots, how many Scottish teachers, or English teachers, or whomever, are working alongside you and haven't had this temporary promotion, if you will? How many have worked for tirelessly for longer than 15 years and have never had a promotion? But because you're BAME, you're self-entitled, you assume that you have to work harder because you're BAME. Ah, oh, fucking hate these people, eh? I did a second, uh, a second mint to the Leaders of Learning project in 2012, and I was the only non-white member of the group of ten. Oh my god, the majority white country! Imagine my shock. Since then, I have not seen another non-white, te non-Scottish teacher doing that job. The council report says more work needs to be done to improve diversity, adding. We will continue to work with those in leadership positions in education services and race equality, and we will work with staff in schools and nurseries to ensure that curriculum developments include race equality and considers how we effectively decolonize the curriculum. Over a long term, we recognize that we need to do more to encourage young people from BAME backgrounds in early learning and teaching. Prior to lockdown, we had plans for career events and planning. I had started for an event which would bring together BAME children from a wide range of schools which explored issues which impacted on them. We will be focusing, or considering this, sorry, where the hell did that come from? This for 2021 as part of our work on children's rights. Councillor Rihanna Spear, convener for education skills and policy development said, the work shows that positive strides in improving the diversity of the workplace in our schools and nurseries and which will better reflect Glasgow's communities. You know, this is fucking cancer. Cancer, man. I'm sick of it. And apologies, my videos as of late just seem to be getting longer and longer. But, you know, they're ranting. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm absolutely sick of it, man. Anyway, peace.